Palo Alto Networks is a multinational cybersecurity company based in Santa Clara, California, that specializes in developing and selling advanced firewalls and security systems to protect networks and devices from cyber threats. The company was founded in 2005 by Nir Zuck, a former engineer at Checkpoint Software Technologies, and has grown to become one of the leading cybersecurity companies in the world, with offices and customers in over 150 countries. Palo Alto Networks offers a range of products and services, including firewalls, cloud security, endpoint protection, threat intelligence, and security analytics. The company's products are used by a variety of organizations, including Fortune 500 companies, government agencies, and small businesses, to protect their networks and data from cyber attacks. There are a series of Palo Alto interview questions used to check and test the students. In this lecture, we will look at a series of Palo Alto interview questions and discuss their solutions. Palo Alto interview questions for freshers. Question number one. Name and explain the different deployment modes in Palo Alto. Answer Palo Alto Network's firewalls offer several deployment modes, each tailored to different network architectures and security needs. These modes determine how the firewall interacts with traffic and integrates into a network. Below are the key deployment modes. 1. Tap mode. In tap mode, the firewall monitors traffic passively by connecting to a mirrored port, span or tap on a switch. The firewall can see all network traffic but cannot modify or block it. Use case. This mode is ideal for monitoring traffic and performing threat detection without affecting live traffic. It's commonly used during the evaluation phase or for traffic analysis without actual enforcement. 2. Virtual Wire or V-Wire Mode Virtual Wire Mode allows the firewall to sit transparently between two network segments without changing the existing IP address scheme. Traffic passes through the firewall, but no Layer 3 routing occurs. Use Case this mode is used when seamless integration into the network is required without modifying the IP addressing or routing. It's often deployed when migrating from a legacy firewall or when the firewall is inserted between two devices. 3. Layer 2 or L2 Mode in Layer 2 mode, the firewall acts like a switch, operating at the data link layer, Layer 2 of the OSI model. Interfaces are assigned to VLANs, and the firewall performs packet filtering based on MAC addresses, VLAN tags, and other Layer 2 attributes. Use case. This mode is useful in environments where traffic needs to be segregated into VLANs, but IP-based routing and changes to the network addressing scheme are not needed. 4. Layer 3 or L3 mode. In Layer 3 mode, the firewall functions as a router. Each interface is assigned an IP address, and the firewall routes traffic between different networks. In this mode, security policies, NAT and advanced threat prevention features can be applied based on IP addresses. Use case. This is the most common deployment mode in enterprise environments where the firewall needs to route traffic between different subnets, apply NAT, and enforce security policies at layer 3. 5. Hybrid mode, layer 2 and layer 3. Hybrid mode allows some firewall interfaces to operate in layer 2 mode, while others operate in layer 3 mode. This setup enables flexibility in managing and securing traffic across various parts of the network. Use case. This mode is useful in scenarios where an organization needs both Layer 2 switching and Layer 3 routing, such as when certain parts of the network require VLAN segregation and others need routing capabilities. 6. Virtual System VSS. Mode Explanation Virtual System Mode allows a single physical Palo Alto firewall to run multiple independent virtual firewalls, known as virtual systems or VSS. Each virtual firewall can have its own security policies, routing tables, and management configuration. Use case. This mode is suitable for multi-tenant environments, such as service providers or large enterprises, where different departments or clients need isolated firewall instances on shared hardware. 7. High Availability, HA. Mode, High Availability. Mode is not a traditional deployment mode, but rather a configuration to ensure continuous service by pairing two firewalls in an active-active or active-passive configuration. The primary firewall handles traffic, while the secondary takes over in the event of failure. Use case. HA mode is deployed in mission-critical environments to minimize downtime and ensure fault tolerance. It's common in data centers and environments that demand high uptime. Question number two. What type of firewall is Palo Alto? Answer Palo Alto firewalls are next-generation firewalls 
NGFWs, designed to provide advanced security capabilities that surpass traditional firewalls. These NGFWs go beyond basic port and protocol filtering by utilizing App ID technology, which identifies applications irrespective of port, protocol, or encryption. This ensures that network traffic is precisely controlled based on the actual application, rather than just the source or destination port. In addition to application awareness, Palo Alto NGFWs offer features like User ID, which links security policies to specific users or groups, and Content ID, which performs deep content inspection to prevent malware, phishing, and other security threats. They also provide SSL decryption to inspect encrypted traffic, a crucial feature as most internet traffic today is encrypted. Furthermore, Palo Alto NGFWs integrate with cloud-based threat intelligence systems like Wildfire, enabling them to detect and prevent zero-day threats in real time. These firewalls support intrusion prevention, URL filtering, and can be deployed in on-premise, cloud, or hybrid environments, making them essential for modern cybersecurity strategies. Question no. 3. What are the different types of linkages used in Palo Alto to establish HA? Answer Palo Alto Network's firewalls use high availability, HA linkages, to ensure continuous service by pairing two firewalls in an active-passive or active-active configuration. There are different types of linkages used in Palo Alto firewalls to establish HA, each playing a critical role in state synchronization, failover detection, and traffic processing. These include 1. HA1 link Control link Purpose The HA1 link is used for control plane communication between the two firewalls and the HA pair. This link helps the firewalls exchange information about configuration synchronization, heartbeat status, and system health. How it works Through the HA1 link, both firewalls share information like hello messages, HA state synchronization, and device status. If this link fails, the firewalls lose their ability to communicate vital control information, which can result in failover. Options It can be connected directly or via a Layer 3 network, using either an Ethernet or a dedicated port, management or data. 2. HA1 Backup Link Purpose The HA1 Backup Link serves as a redundant control plane link in case the primary HA1 link fails. How it works If the primary HA1 link becomes unavailable, this backup link takes over the control plane communication. It ensures that the two firewalls can continue sharing critical information, preventing unnecessary failovers due to control plane link failure. Options It typically uses a different interface, like a management interface, for redundancy, ensuring HA control plane communication remains intact. 3. HA2 link, data link, purpose. The HA2 link is responsible for data plane synchronization between firewalls, this includes forwarding state synchronization, session state, IPsec tunnels, NAT tables, and other runtime information. How it works Through the HA2 link, firewalls synchronize session information, ensuring that when failover occurs, the standby firewall has the current state of active sessions, allowing it to seamlessly continue processing traffic without disruption. Options The HA2 link can use a dedicated interface or Ethernet link, and supports encryption IPsec, if routed over a non-secure network. 4. HA2 Backup Link Purpose The HA2 Backup Link provides redundancy for the HA2 data link in case of a failure. How it works If the primary HA2 link goes down, the HA2 Backup Link will take over to maintain the synchronization of session and runtime data between the active and passive firewalls. Options Like the HA1 Backup, it uses an alternate interface to ensure continuity and data plane synchronization. 5. HA3 link. Active-active mode only. Purpose. The HA3 link is used in active-active HA configurations for session traffic forwarding between the two firewalls. How it works. In active-active setups, both firewalls can process traffic simultaneously, and the HA3 link ensures the flow of asymmetric traffic between the two firewalls. This link helps share traffic flows, enabling session ownership to be transferred or balanced between the two devices as necessary. Options. The HA3 link requires a Layer 2 connection between firewalls to forward packets effectively between the pair. 6. Heartbeat Backup. Optional. Purpose. Heartbeat Backup provides failover detection redundancy by sending heartbeat signals to the secondary firewall. How it works. When the primary firewall is down or becomes unresponsive, the secondary firewall detects the failure through the absence of heartbeat signals 
and immediately takes over. The heartbeat process is crucial for ensuring that failover happens quickly and without manual intervention. Question 9.4. What are the functionalities supported by Palo Alto in the virtual wire mode? Answer Palo Alto provides a bunch of functionalities in the virtual wire mode, such as NA tap ID decryption user, ID content, ID question number 5. What are the default IP and the login credentials for Palo Alto Firewall's administration port? Answer. Believe it or not, this is one of the frequently asked Palo Alto interview questions, and the answer is quite simple. So the default IP and login credentials for Palo Alto Firewall's administration port are Default IP 192.168.1.1 Username Admin Password Admin Question number 6 What are the various states of the HA firewall? Explain them briefly. Answer Palo Alto Network's firewalls in a high availability HA setup can go through various operational states. These states define the current role or condition of each firewall in the HA pair. Below are the primary states. 1. Initial description. This is the starting state when the firewall is booting up or after a configuration change. In this state, the firewall is not ready for normal operations or traffic processing. Purpose. The firewall is initializing its configuration, interfaces, and HA processes. 2. Active description. In active-passive configurations, the active firewall is the one currently processing all traffic and enforcing security policies. In active-active configurations, both firewalls can be in an active state, sharing traffic and session handling. Purpose. The active firewall is fully operational, and if it's the primary firewall, it processes all network traffic and security tasks. 3. Passive description. In active-passive HA, the passive firewall is in a standby state, not processing traffic. It monitors the active firewall and is ready to take over in case of a failure. Purpose The passive firewall synchronizes its configuration and session data with the active firewall. It becomes active if a failover occurs. 4. Active primary. Active active mode only. Description In an active active HA setup, the active primary firewall is responsible for handling traffic for specific sessions or applications based on the load balancing and session ownership configuration. Purpose. The active primary firewall manages specific traffic flows and is responsible for specific applications or traffic types in active active configurations. 5. Active secondary. Active active mode only. Description. Also in an active active setup, the active secondary firewall handles a subset of traffic in coordination with the active primary firewall. Purpose. It processes traffic based on the configuration and shares the workload with the active primary firewall. 6. Suspended description. A firewall enters the suspended state when it encounters an issue that prevents it from functioning normally in an HA pair, such as a hardware failure or misconfiguration. Purpose. In this state, the firewall stops participating in HA, and it does not process any traffic or take over from the active firewall. It requires manual intervention to resolve the issue. 7. Non-functional description. The firewall is in a state where it cannot process traffic or synchronize with its peer in the HA pair. This can occur due to significant hardware or software failures. Purpose. The firewall is not operational and is unable to function in the HA configuration. 8. Tentative description. This is a temporary state in which the firewall briefly enters when it is unable to determine the correct HA state due to an issue, often during the HA negotiation process. Purpose. The firewall performs checks to determine its appropriate HA role. It typically moves to an active, passive, or suspended state after completing the checks. 9. Election description. During the election state, the firewalls are negotiating to determine which one should be the active or passive unit. This state occurs when both firewalls initially come online or during a failover. Purpose. This process ensures that one firewall becomes active and takes over traffic processing, while the other becomes passive or remains on standby. Question note 7. What are the various URL filtering options? Answer. This is one of the most commonly asked Palo Alto interview questions. There are various types of URL filtering, such as allow, the user can access the website without any restriction, and no log is created. Alert. In this filtering, the website is allowed, but a log is created in the filtering log. Block. In this case, the website will be completely blocked off, and the user will not be able to access it. 
Continue. In this scenario, the user will be redirected to a warning page, but the user may choose to continue to the website. Override. In this scenario, the user will be redirected to a warning page, and the user will need an override password to proceed to the website. None. This type of filtering action will affect only the custom URL categories. Question number 8. What are the different types of test commands used to verify the working of the policies in Palo Alto? Answer the test commands are used to verify whether a policy is working correctly or not. Some of the test commands for different policies are testing an authentication policy rule, test authentication policy, match, testing a security policy rule, test security policy match, testing a decryption policy rule, test decryption policy match. Question number nine. Name some of the port numbers used in HA. Answer. This is one of the tricky Palo Alto interview questions. Some of the port numbers used in HA are the control link or HA1 uses TCP28769 and TCP28260 for communication between HA peer firewalls. The control link or HA1 uses TCP28 for secure communication between HA peer firewalls. The backup link or HA2 uses TCP28770 TCP28771 is also used by the backup link to backup heartbeats. IP99 and UDP29281 are used to synchronize sessions. Question number 10. What are the advantages of Panorama in Palo Alto? Answer. This is one of the most essential Palo Alto interview questions. So some of the advantages of using Panorama are Panorama is used to provide distributed administration. Panorama also helps provide a centralized configuration system. We can view a graphical representation of the applications in the network using Panorama. Panorama helps in the analysis of the data by providing central oversight. Users can analyze, report, and evaluate the security issues, network traffic, and administrative changes from one centralized location using Panorama. That's it for this video. Kindly check the next part for more interview questions and answers.